Hello guys, today is a different kind of video. We're doing a review on the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette. It's fun. So, didn't think we'd get to do this until tonight or tomorrow because I do work, but it got here early. So we got this pretty pink packaging holographic effect. Then we have Jeffree's face, his little note for us and everything. So open it up. It did come really protective. Came in this box full of bubble wrap. So A plus two packaging there. And it's still covered in bubble wrap inside of the box. So there's no broken broken eyeshadows. It should be way less. So there's your palette. Nice and big. Um, on the back. Doesn't say anything other than just artistry palette. And a couple of basic things. There's the front. Very pretty. It's very sleek. So let's open this up. Oh. So we do have a protector over our mirror and our shadows. Nice. So we're going to just throw that away. So. We have that. Uh, hello. We have a nice big mirror. It says Morphe X Jeffree Star at the top. And all of our shade names are actually on the palette. And I just said I love that because I have a palette by Morphe that does not. And it is frustrating. I mean, average... I feel like I would have thrown it away if I w didn't do YouTube and didn't want like the names of everything. So I'm telling you guys, you guys can use the same shade I'm using, but like whatever. I like the fact that this has all the names on it. So let's get into this. This was like 30 some, I knew it was like $36. Then if you used his code, you got it for $32.50. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my face is just... Yeah. My son. <laughs> when your nose itches, you already have your makeup on, just like, use a makeup brush. Um, with his code, I got it for like $32. Then shipping brought it back up to like $36. But like, hey awesome deal so let's <laughs> i swear he's not torturing him this is just how he acts so let's get into the first row row um it is a pretty sturdy mirror like it's not bending back that's nice you can actually like hold it and not have it flopping everywhere so first row is called welcome back to my channel one noise even has a little like heart and like sparkle. So we're gonna swatch all of those. So So this is welcome back to my all very light. I'm trying to like swatch these and see them myself. So, very light, but very pigmented at the same time. I have a little makeup wipe sitting down here so I can wipe off my hands so there's no contamination. Then channel and welcome. No, it will be channel and wand noise. They're soft, but like, not like Jeffree Star palette soft, so channel and wand noise. It's a really bright, bright, bright day. I could talk today. This is probably why, because I haven't finished my first cup of coffee. Mmm. That's good. Then, our second row is Lion 1985 model self-made yep. 
So that one's kind of white and wispy. I'm going to try to get it again. It might be actually... Actually, it's pretty pigmented. It's just exactly my skin tone. So I'm going to try to get that in. It's just almost an exact dupe for my skin tone. Then there's those three. So we know what Lexi's going to use because we love ones that are my skin tone so we can blend everything out. I'm just going to wipe down the old arm. There we go. I don't see any staining, so that's nice. Maybe those last two, model and self-made, kind of a little bit of, there's a light staining. Nothing come at it. Um, Dog Mom and Honest Truth is next. These are pretty cute colors. Oh, those are real nice. So when I first saw this, I liked it, but I thought there was going to be for some reason I just felt like there was an overwhelming amount of pinks. There's really not. So the next one is... Let me just get all of them on my finger. It hurts like that. Hmm. That last pink one is kind of chalky. But I feel like you, it's very, nothing, no one can, just a little bit of fiddling with what it fix. So it just might be a little bit more effort to it. Oh, he does stain. But he does stain a little bit. He's not wanting to come off the, the pinky here. Oh, I don't know what that was. I think Andrew just blew up. Take a little bite. Break. Mm. Good. So, I really I'm just, I'm sorry. We have to try millions because I want to know if this plus, like, pressed glitter is any good. So, sorry. It's actually pretty decent. So it looks like you're going to want to use a very packing motion. But it, it's there, honestly. Like, that's, that's a nice ass swatch. Um, we'll use this other glitter. This silver glitter. Let me see. Oh my god, that's so soft, honestly. It blends really easily. My cat just jumped over my palette and almost, like, screamed. They're pretty good though. They usually don't land on anything. Um, people have been raving about Wake and Bake and Nate. Cool. You think Jeffree Star wasn't going to put a... Oh, look at this color. It's called Wake and Bake. Yeah. It's yeah. completely Jeffree. So let's do... That one is Wake and Bake. And that one is Nate. Isn't it weird that he doesn't have a color already that isn't named Wake and Bake or Nate? I just find that odd. Like, it took him this long <laughs> to finally put it in a palette. And it's not even his, like, actual line. So that one got me. So let's do a little bit of a look. Well, we swatched a good amount of these. Let's do some type of look. Um... So, let's find some eyelid primer and bag of tricks. Okay, eyelid primer. I'm going to be using my Milani eyeshadow primer. You guys totally should. I need recommendations for a new one. Because this one is about out. And... 
Wasn't the biggest fan of the Milani the eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer if I could talk. I think it works. I like primes the lid. I just I don't like a really, really tacky base. Like personally. So I'm like And of course, all the swatches were done without any eyelid primer. My hands are so glittery, I need another makeup spray. So, let's get into this fun palette. I kinda wanna do something with Nate and Wake and Bake. I think those would just be fun. Ooh, what about drive through? So, drive through is like this almost rustic gold it's pretty so let's get our makeup brushes look how all my makeup brushes are in starbucks cups side so note so let's start with something i think i want to put wake and bake all over the lid really let me find a flat shader brush I have millions of them, but never can find one. What does this look? So we're going to just take Wake and Bake. And I think we're just going to pat that all over the lid. To start. My, like, eyeshadow primer is creasing for some reason. That's why I don't like the Milani. It, like, creases weirdly. Then it, like... Those weird things to my eyeshadows. So we're just gonna put this on like the center of the lid. I think we're gonna rock that. This right there. Wake and bake is like this weird kind of like almost pukey green. Not really. If you know what wake and bake means, it really looks like it. Make like some real, real lively. Hey Andrew, trying to be like descriptive, quiet, but like, tell me that doesn't kind of look like some good way to make. So I just find that funny. Let's so see, we're just gonna kind of put that right there. I think for starting, I feel like that's kind of going numb. So there's that. I just kind of took it all the way up into the crease and almost all the way into the inner corner. Pack that on. Then I think we're going to go in with a little bit of Nate in the outer corner. Let's do that. And just kind of place that there lightly. See how that blends into each other. Just layering me over top of what you can bake. See how that goes. Yeah, that's, that's actually kind of cute. I like that. We're just gonna keep packing that on to kind of just give that something. Ooh. That's different. But I might like this. I 
So I'm just like taking it and pulling it into my crease and just layering it over top of wake and bake for a nice gradient effect. I kind of want them to blend right about the same part. And there's that. And just take a clean fluffy brush and just kind of just make sure any little folds are gone. It uh, needs kind of fallouty. It's got a lot of fallout there. And then we're just taking that color to kind of blend out everything. I don't know if I'm feeling this look though. Hmm. Let's see here. Maybe if we take we'll take this little brush. It's just flat kind of brush. We go into drive through. So as I flutter shade, kind of do it up and over and into wake and bake. So we're kind of just playing with these three bottom shades right there. And then we're just going to go back in with Wake and Bake and kind of clean that up, I feel like. And where is my big fluffy brush? I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush and kind of knock out any extra fallout. Just gonna go. Um, we do have a little bit of greenage under there, so that's something to be mindful of. There are at least. Those three shades are very kind of flaky. So I'm not really feeling this look today. I don't know why, but I feel like. Oh, my ear hurts, sorry. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna find me makeup wipes. And start over. So I'm just not feeling this look. I'm just not feeling it. Nothing wrong with the look. I mean, it's honestly, I think it's kind of cute, but like, just not feeling it though. One of the dogs spiked. We're just gonna try to take off just our eyeshadow and not our whole makeup to look. Not all of our foundation. So far, doing so good. 
but I'm just kind of patting under my eyes to make sure I get any like gross green fallout. Really, I just kind of like tissue it around my finger and wipe my eye. Hello. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit. So, we're, I just didn't like that look, so we're going to go with a little something different. And I think we want to do something sparkly and something pink instead. So we're just going to get a clean little brush. So I think we should do... Smiley primer's already on. Let's see here. We're gonna don't know her. I'm gonna go into that. And let's see here. Where do we want to place this? Let's really think about this. Middle, back, front. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna put this in the middle of our lid. And hopefully we like this look. I like the other one, I just, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it today. I feel like any other day, I would have totally loved it, because I love green. I love greens and blues. I just was not feeling that, like. So we're just going to kind of put Don't Know Her all over the middle of your lid and crease it out. Try to blend it down into like the outer corner just slightly. And that's right there. Let's see. Already. Now we're gonna go in and do the other side. I have two mirrors, so one here, so you can watch me do it. You can watch me do it from the side. I'm just gonna keep going. It's honestly pretty pigmented. I'm just patting it down. putting that right there. Sorry, I went silent for a minute. So, I think that's pretty even. This mirror is actually really nice. Nice and big. Something I don't like about my other palette by Morphe, it doesn't have a mirror. Like, it's not that hard to add a mirror into something. And a mirror makes all the difference. Like, nails on the packaging instead of a like little flappy thing so well we have that done we're just gonna wipe off that brush because i think we're gonna just keep using it we're gonna go into let's do hmm, we're gonna do self-made or pink leak let's see here hmm. Let's go into pink fleet. I feel like that will blend out nicely with it. This is kind of the more matte version of this. But I think I like that. It's a bit purplier. A little bit. It's more matte. Okay, it's not. We're just gonna put that in the outer corner and blend it in to each other. Okay. 
There we go. So then I'm just gonna like flip over my brush and go back into don't know her and kind of just go over each other and kind of blend them in together. So we don't really have any harsh lines on each other. Just gonna do the same on this side. Take it all up into the outer corner, up into the crease. There we go. I think then we're just gonna kind of slightly blend and just repack that on to make sure it all matches real nice. There we go. I feel like this side is looking a little bit better. So, we do have a lot of fallout, so we're just gonna go with a clean brush. Kind of dust all of that away. We're gonna have to touch up our foundation anyways, because we took it out off around our eyes a little bit, so when we were changing looks. No big deal. No harm, no foul. And I'm just gonna wipe off all of our brushes. A little makeup wipe right there. Get them all clean. Then I think I'm gonna go into two. It's like this pearly pink. Put my top row. I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner, I think. Yep. We're just going to put that pearly pink in the inner corner and work that in and just kind of blend it over, I don't know her, so she's going to get a little bit dark and fade. Nice. My voice got all raspy there. I'm just going to put that over. That just it's like if this one's kind of like almost like a weird jelly eyeshadow. This part is where I have the most difficult. Is like trying to blend uh, the inner corner into the other one. There we go. There. See? Pretty nice. So I'm just gonna wipe off that brush and go back into Don't Know Her. And just kind of blend that top part together. So you want them all to blend, but you want to directly see. I like to directly see each color too. So there's that. So, we're just going to take our really clean little, there's a hair inside of my beard. We're just going to kind of like, I like to call it like erasing any like little, maybe I feathered up a little too hard. I'm going to do about a little bit of 1985, just around there. Kind of just really set the brow bone. And just kind of smooth out the under eye. So yeah. Take a sip of coffee. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Pretty cool. So I want to do something a little dramatic. Hopefully I won't end up hating the whole look because sometimes I try to do something different and I just hate it. So we're going to take a flat um, like liner brush, top, flat top brush. We're going to go into, let's do self-made, the neon pink in this palette. And just kind of like do it under the lid. Oh, I kind of like that actually, it's kind of cute. We're just going to kind of attach that down and blend. I'm just going to do the same on this side. Well, I like horrible things, my eyes water, so like, it kind of bunches up. Sometimes it doesn't come out the best because my eyes just water horribly. So, there's that. I think it is a pretty cute look. So, why am I covered in glitter? Because it's Jeffree Star's makeup products. Love his product. So, honestly, I would totally. I like this palette. We're going to add a little bit of. I think just <laughs> glitter get off of me. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of lighter and some mascara. I can find it, I can push, I find it. Hmm, that's wonderful it opened in my bag, so that's something we get to deal with after the show. Oh, my nose is already. It's not my eyes, it's my nose. It's one of the two. So we're just going to put a little bit of black liner in the waterline. I feel like liner too. We're really just doing a whole look together. We're just gonna put that on. Then we can just I'm going to put on some of my Big O Tarte Mascara, and I think this look will be complete. I like how it's neon pink as well. But yeah, that looks a lot better actually. I like that with the mascara and the eyeliner.
There we go. So there is the finished look. Oh, Every part of me just itches today. I'm dying. So what I'm gonna do is just kinda take my beauty blender and really the smallest dab the foundation on it. It's gonna kinda go over there and just kinda re make that look a little bit better. Yeah. Like just the smallest dab of foundation. Then we're just gonna take my nice fluffy brush and my Becca setting powder. I don't know how I feel about this honestly. It has a cooling effect and it's kind of odd. Like it actually feels almost wet. And it's odd. It's a little bit weird. So we're just gonna set that. Back. There. there is our Jeffree Star palette by Morphe. Um, love this look. I'm just going to put on some highlighter and a blush, a little bit of contour, and we're going to rock the day. You guys have a great day. Tell me what you think. If you bought this palette, if you bought any other pieces out of the collection, I did not. I just wanted the palette. But leave me your comments, questions, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content.